Okay, so today we want to talk about EV Coach, but uh, first I'm just going to show you where to find it. So if you press your menu button and go to select screens, um, you've got all your different ones down here. So I have my calm screen, fuel economy, and trip one on. Trip two is still working in the background, but that's since lifetime of the car. And you go down and you find EV Coach, and you want to put a tick in there. Press the back button. So back to your screen. So you can now see I've got my calm screen, got my fuel economy while driving, got my trip one, which uh, just let that reset go. It shows quite good figures there. Half of my miles are on electric in eight hours. And then we go to EV Coach. So let's go off on a journey and I'll show you how this has changed the way I drive the car. We're going to be looking at the EV coach bit in the middle as well as the bits on the right hand side here where I'm just showing you here it shows your power of what electric. You also notice on the dashboard I've got zero miles of electricity actually charged into the car but you see on the uh, dashboard there that uh, I'm driving on electric at the moment and you've got that box around the outside of the moving bar which shows how much electricity I've got in the car to use now obviously I'm in a 30 mile an hour limit here I'm passing some schools so I'm not going to be going too far as you can see now I'm slowing down and that's actually charging through the brakes and again I'm, I'm quite light on the throttle because I don't need the hybrid engine to set in if I've got electricity to use but we're on a bit of an incline here so you can see the uh, engine has cut in gets me up there if I lift off now because I'm coming up to another school it goes back to charging and now I'm accelerating again I'm using electricity but the difference it's made to my driving has really been looking ahead so I know this road really well I know there's a 90 degree bend here and there's cars parked all over the place for the university so I'd let off early and the car starts charging on its own here I'm just accelerating down here it's very uh, built up down here so I would say I've let off again and you can see it's gone back to charging and now I'm lightly braking so now I'm coming up to a junction Hopefully I've achieved, well, 99% there, so not quite 100. So again, the engine's cut in, you can hear that. But I know I've got speed bumps coming up, so I'm slowing down. The, the one thing you quickly learn is that as you are coming up to a junction, if you're letting off, that compared to if you haven't driven a plug-in hybrid or electric vehicle before that um, you don't need to be putting your foot down and you know that it will charge you don't need big acceleration because it will be charging when you're not accelerating like now I'm coming up to a junction again I let off now I'm lightly braking I've got charge going in again and there's a number of shots I've taken over the last few months where I've done very different driving you know some motorway miles but most of them most of my driving is on A roads and B roads um, <coughs> and you'll see some pictures coming up now which uh, are some of my past journeys where most of them you know I don't drive like a saint but I've achieved over 50% of my mileage on electric even though I've not plugged my car in you know, this car hasn't been plugged in for probably a couple of months now um, purely because the price of electricity has got up and the price of petrol has gone down but I've come up that hill there <coughs> excuse me I've let off because I know I've got that van in front and there's a junction coming up and so and now I'm going to accelerate again. It'll probably go from electric into hybrid because it's it's uphill. So there's some. It changes the way I'm driving. So I'm I'm in a 50 mile an hour zone, but 
it's not 50 mile an hour road as you can feel through the bumps um, coming up to a roundabout you, know, you get to know the power of the car and you know, I've let off because I'm going to a roundabout so I'm putting electricity back into the battery and even more so when I'm braking so James could you tell us a little bit about how that works when I let off yeah, but it's, um, <clears throat> it's, 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 well, it's like a Formula One car, it's all regenerative energy. So it's coming through the drive tank train and straight to the battery. Um, it's not as powerful as the regen you get from the brakes, because it comes via the transmission of the vehicle straight into the battery. But it's still a useful amount of power getting back in. So when I'm letting off, right now, because we're coming up to a roundabout. Yeah, so you're not braking, but you're letting yeah. off and you can feel the car <laughs> hesitate. It's because it's charging the battery by all the latent energy which is uh, saved when you lift it off the gas. And that acts like a little bit of a brake as it well. It does. So I didn't need to brake a lot there because the car had naturally slowed down. I was recharging my battery. It's a good example here. I'm hybrid now, so the engine's running. If I let off, I'm going downhill. I don't want to be going too fast down here. But I'm now on electric. And obviously gravity's uh, taking its force as well because I'm still accelerating but um, I'm not used that much I've let off there I'm doing 44 mile an hour in a 50 so pretty decent but it's um, it does work a lot better on the lower miles doing so like we're going to come up to a virtual carriageway in a minute um, you'll see slightly uphill so it will go into engine mode but if you let off it goes back into charging mode so you know, we're doing some nice miles on electric here but we know we've got dual carriageway it's probably going to take a bit out of that but, um, I know on a run when you're on the motorway you find a <coughs> just go to electric when you're level ground and start charging we probably haven't got enough of a run up here because it's uphill but I know when I've used them on a long journey it can surprise you because you'll be cruising along and all of a sudden the petrol engine turns off. Even when it tells you you've got no charge in the battery. Yeah, not that you notice it that much. No, you, you wouldn't, you just notice a slight. You don't notice them really changing between the two. So you know, accelerate off the roundabout. Off and a noise, don't you? That's yeah. <clears throat> so we want to get up to speed here. So obviously we're using the petrol engine here. We're 70 mile an hour limit here, so see how that works out for us because it's not all uphill. This bit is, but you will find it by having it on the EV coach, especially when you first get the car or you're not used to driving plug in hybrid or FEV as they're known, that the EV coach really helps you. And it adapts your driving. My driving style's probably changed. I don't, I probably don't go any slower, unfortunately. But there we go, we're at 70 mile an hour now. If I lift off, you can see there's a bit of charging. No, it's still uphill, so still needs the petrol engine. But we're coming up to a roundabout. And we'll, we'll do this in reverse in a second, because you'll see a completely different change to the way the car reacts. You can see it's, the engine's got off now. You see on the other side I'm using electric rather than petrol um, purely because we're slowing down for this roundabout up here. But there you go, accelerating again. But yeah, we'll do as we're told and it says reduce speed now so I'm just letting off. I'm not accelerating, I don't need to. I'm just going to go over into the other lane. We'll do this in reverse and just uh, get a little bit of um, of it downhill you can see how it works again you have to imagine you're on a motorway we've only got the dual carriageway locally but um, yeah if we came to a downhill section on the motorway what difference it would make but um, again I'm, I'm only lightly having to touch the accelerator it's it does literally change the way your right foot works a bit but um, not sure it's changed James's too much in anything he drives, but there you go. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so, so there's a little bit uphill here. And it gets out on the flat. And, uh, so if we're on the motorway now, and we 
going out 70 miles an hour. And you can see the gradient's changed now. So my brain's telling me, oh, that's somewhere I could save some fuel. So I let off to let it charge, and then I just lightly touch to keep the electric going and to keep my speed up. box is going to shrink to where the bar is so the bar's me accelerating and the box is shrinking down as we use the electric up that we've conserved while braking and you know kinetically I know I'm coming to the end of it here so I don't need to keep it we'll accelerate a bit because we've slowed down so we use the engine again but you can't feel that cutting in and out you know that's no you can't even hear it there, there. If, you know you uh, got no idea really <coughs> so we're going to see the trip we're coasting basically down here but that is recharging the battery and it is doing some braking for me um, we're now going to take you to a little bit of village to do just so you can see what it's like on the back roads so back roads again we all know the roads we drive on. Um, yeah, I know this reasonably well around here, but uh, I'm on electric because that's down a little bit of uphill here, but that's still on electric because I don't want to be going fast over all these bumps. But the coach is telling me that, yeah, I've got electric to use there um, on the right hand side. Actually, you might be able to explain that a bit better. I don't know if you know James on the where you've got the battery and the engine on the right hand oh, side. Oh the little graph on the right on the dial, yeah. 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 Obviously we're using electric at the moment. Yeah. Um, well if it's below the zero you're charging the battery. Right. So it's telling like you how that. many watts you're putting yeah. in. And if it's above the battery, going up towards 60 kilowatts, that tells you how much power you're actually using. So at the moment when you've got a little blue battery there, it means you're charging the battery. Right, now I'm accelerating on and the And you accelerate now. And it will light up the little engine bit to tell you you're using the engine. Right. And if we get to a downhill bit again now, you'll find you get a little lightning strike in the blue battery symbol. That tells you, there you go, that tells you you're actually charging the battery. Okay. So, so the other side to zero, you're actually putting power. Now you're using it again now. Yeah, I'm going to turn left here, so we're, we're slowing down from the junction. But So that can work similar to the coach. Yeah, but, it can. But yeah, the it coach that, certainly that helps you learn how to drive plug-in hybrid a bit better on the battery and also on the uh, the charging so it's, it's a good tool to use don't need to have it on all the time so it's, it's one of those things I discovered early on that was a good way for me to learn how to get the most out of it and I say most of my journeys now are, are getting 50% electric even though I'm not even plugging it in and that's returning me on you know, anywhere between sort of 48, 53 miles to the gallon, um, which, you know, a lot of diesel engines would be uh, happy mean, with. To be honest, on paper it shouldn't do that because it's two and a half litre petrol. But yeah. because, it, because it's charging in the background, and still even though it's telling you you've got no electric power, you actually have. Yeah. So really clever, really clever. So probably go back into engine now, yeah, a bit of uphill, but, uh, Again, I know I'm coming up to a junction in a minute, so at the crest of the hill, I know I can lift off because I'm going to need to slow down for the junction, which is just around here. So if I'm letting off now, I could have let off a bit earlier to be fair, because now I'm having to break. And then you've got a big old hill there, that's put a lot of power back in. So hopefully this is quite useful for you that, you know, because not everyone gets in these and realises what they're capable of. and. Yeah, the car can not teach you how to drive but it can certainly teach you a lot in the way you can get the most out of the battery power and you can get the most out of the um the engine when you need it and and it is seamless because i've gone from engine there to electricity I'm let off for the corner and i'm accelerating away now it's not it's a bit of a tight road this so you don't want to be speeding too much around here but I'm accelerating on electric power there, so it's, it's probably a, although the 
signs will tell you it's a 60, it's probably a 40, 50 mile an hour road. Um, if you come across lots of things like that. Accelerating up, I'm not holding back just to show you, I'm literally driving quite normally. Um, but every time I, I lift off for a corner, you can see more charge going back into the battery. You probably can't see it from the camera, but when Ian's lifting off for the throttle, it's almost like he's putting the brakes on because you can feel yourself being pulled forward into the seatbelt, and that is the regen putting the power in the battery. Yeah, it doesn't you don't need the brakes because the regen does that as a smaller job really isn't it it's just a you feel it now if I let off now you can't feel being pulled forward but you can actually feel that it's slowing down because I've got all these corners coming up and if I do accelerate I'm just on electricity so it is a slightly different way of driving you know this is downhill I've let off there for the corners I'm getting power back in down here is so I'm not I'm not even touching the accelerator here because it's still going across quite nicely a little bit of acceleration we'll just use electricity so doing this if you do enough driving just to um, get yourself familiar I leave it on I do challenge myself sometimes to see if I can get over 50% um, not a bad thing because obviously that over 50% is free driving to yeah. me so yeah it's not taking anything out of my petrol tank so it's not taking anything out of my wallet so it can be a little bit of a challenge and a few of our customers have risen to that challenge and sent me in some uh, some very good results but uh, yeah, I've got one who literally uh, charges all the time because they've got a low tariff and don't do many journeys where they need to use fuel so they're returning over 126 miles to the gallon I think one was mm. um, I mean, I like the braking coach. That's a small win every time, then. Yeah. When you press it, so you get 100% all the way. Yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge. This should be this should be quite an easy 100% here because the like, junction's way ahead. I am braking. It's going to fail me now and do <laughs> and do less, isn't it? So. Oh, Ooh. bad one. Only 94%. We'll see if we can improve that at the roundabout, but. Um, I've pulled out of there. I'm on electricity anyway. You can see we've got quite a lot of electricity because we did that quite big downhill section there. Would have been a bit more if my braking was a little bit better at the bottom, <laughs> but uh... <coughs> right, we'll just give one more braking coach and see if I achieve the hundred percent. And uh, oh, got some road Hello. works. And, mm. stop just to see if I can get it yeah, yeah there we go well that's not a bad way to end this video um, I hope it's helpful um, a lot of people don't even know what the EV coach is so uh, thanks very much for watching